So what that looks like is this. So again, when you are on that south facade, you want to use these horizontal louvers so that when the sun's at that higher angle, it can bounce in off of those louvers and prevent that harsh lighting condition. For the east and west facade, you want to have those vertical louvers to again bring in that indirect lighting. And then, so this is the egg crate solution, which is a combination of those horizontal and vertical louvers, which would then be used on the southeast and southwest facades. So some reasons why you may want to keep sunlighting out of your building is for heat gain reasons in warmer months or warmer climates, issues of glare and excessive contrast. You wouldn't want one portion of the room to be very well lit if you have these deep spaces. Areas by the windows may be very well lit, whereas deeper into the space it's very dark, creating this unwanted contrast. Sunlight can damage fabrics and materials as well as arts, so this could be an issue in your home, but this could also be an issue in places like museums and art galleries. It may cause excessive and harsh lighting conditions, like you may have seen in my recommended books video. And something to note is on my west southwest window I have horizontal blinds which are not helping anyone. As you see it lets in all of that harsh light which if I had vertical louvers or vertical blinds it would help to bounce the light and distribute it a little better so that it's not as harsh. And some reasons why you would want sunlight in your building is because you have this free source of lighting that you would otherwise need artificial lighting for, which is very costly. And also in colder months, you would want that solar radiation to heat up the spaces. So again, this is dependent on your climate. So here are some examples of existing buildings that use these methods for shading their buildings. Here we have Le Corbusier's Ranchamp building, which uses a few different methods of, of shading and controlling the light. So you can see he has these huge overhangs and he has these really thick concrete walls, which allows the thickness of the window to act as a sun shading device in itself. And for an example of horizontal louvers, here we have Stephen Hall's horizontal skyscraper. Here you can see RCR Architects Library and Senior Citizen Center where they use vertical louvers that are purposeful and decorative, but the decorative qualities are actually purposeful. So you can see that they have a little twist to them that helps to direct the sun in different locations to give it more dynamic effect to this lighting and there it also helps them to read differently so that only certain portions of the vertical louvers are highlighted by the sun at any given time. So that also helps to change the overall look of the building as the sun moves throughout the day. So for an example of an egg crate solution, here we have Le Corbusier's Mill Owners Association building where he uses the organization of the spaces to create this egg crate louver solution. You can see they're at an angle, they don't need to be perfectly perpendicular to the building. There's no specific width that they need to be or length that they need to be. It's all dependent on your particular situation, what you want the aesthetics of the building to be. So it's partly design preferences in accordance with environmental solution strategies. And they can also be purposeful. They don't need to just serve this one purpose of shading the sun. Like in this building, he uses them to act as an outdoor space for all of these offices. So they're dual purpose and, and they're beautiful. I think that anything that has, anything architectural that is also purposeful is then beautiful. Things that are done solely for aesthetics, I think, become a little bit artificial and therefore less beautiful. So purposeful is beautiful, in my eyes at least.